cervical sympathetic chain yeah. or what we call the steelhead ganglion block but we're going to do the cervical middle cervical sympathetic chain uh, block to, to do the block always start to scan from the midline look for the uh, uh, trachea and then i'm going to be looking for the thyroid gland and i'll show you the structures on the screen with my pointer so that's that's your tracheal rings here yeah? you have your thyroid gland when you start to move laterally you have your carotid artery and then if I move more laterally I'm collapsing the internal jugular vein at that point I start to look at the bottom of the screen and that's actually my transverse process at that level I don't see the anterior tubercle so this is actually at the C7 level so it's C7 I have the vertebral artery pulsating along with the C7 nerve root once I find that, I start to move my probe up, looking for the anterior tubercle. As you could see, very prominent anterior tubercle here. That's your C6 nerve root, and that's your posterior tubercle. The muscle you see, which is in that area, is your longest coline muscle underneath your uh, internal jugular vein. And you see a very white layer there. That's your prevertebral fascia. The top muscle is longest capitals. So if you want to do the block, you need to bring the needle into that plane underneath the fascia. So you need to do the subfacial plane block in order to do the superficial uh, cervical sympathetic chain block. If you want to do the nerve root block, then you will have to look for the nerve root. And as I say, this is my C6 nerve root, so I'll go a bit more posteriorly. You need to bring the needle in that, in that plane and going just uh, behind the posterior tubercle. And this is an extra foraminal injection. So that's a very good picture of anterior and posterior tubercle. And it looks like a ghost where you have a head and you have both hands. So every time you see this picture, you're either at C5 level or C6 level, but you need to confirm that by going down to see there is no more anterior tubercle and you have only posterior tubercle there, and that's your C7 level. And I always call this as a lounge chair position. So it looks like that, where you have your thumb and you have your vertebral artery along with your vertebral nerve root. And once you see C7, you come back up and you look for the anterior tubercle, posterior tubercle, with the cervical C6 nerve root and medially you have your longus coli, longus capitis muscle with internal jugular vein collapsed and the carotid artery and the thyroid gland. Thank you.